at this stage, the alcohol had a very, very firm grip around my throat. I find myself just at the beginning of a recession with no job and no money. When the well dries up in money, I mean, your alcoholism doesn't dry up with it. My name is Gary Cunningham. I'm 28 years of age. I'm an author. I'm a musician. And I'm also an ex-convict. I was an alcoholic for the majority of my young life and as a result, I ended up being incarcerated for the sale and supply of cannabis. I walked into Mount Joy as an 18 and a half stone man who had no self-worth, whose mental health had taken quite a bashing, and yet it was in prison where my life was saved. I quickly ascertained what it meant to have a healthy mind and a healthy body. It just puts you in a different place. And I'm a perfect example of that. I actually wrote a bestseller. I mean, come on, like. <laughs> book is a quite different book pertaining to life inside because I tried to write it with positivity and humour but I can't hide away from the fact that it's a terrifying place. I kept on hearing this the lad saying you're going to the gym later yeah why oh, it's great for the head I love going down there it's great for the head <sighs> to go to the gym to get lost in yourself to put every bit of effort you have into reconstructing your body to make it look as good as you physically can. That's great, but what it does for your head, what it does for the mental state, you can't buy that or bottle it. The gym is an integral part of your prison time. It's an even more integral part of your free time. You only get one shot, you only get one chance this and I really feel that we have a choice. We can wallow in negativity, we can let the badness come in or we can say no I'm not having that today. I'm going to get up and I'm going to give it a shot because it's not the time we deal with what I'm going to do with this time.